Hey there, my name is Tony Pavlovich. I'm a teacher here in San Diego County, and I'm a owner of a small publishing company called Instructomania. We sell our products on TeachersPayTeachers.com. Today, I'm going to show you a few things about Google Classroom, how I set up my classroom and how it works for me, and how to sign up your students. So when you get to Google Classroom, you're going to have to create a class. You can see I already have three classes here with students enrolled. How you do that is you just go over to the plus sign and you create a class. You put in your class name, the period number is what I put in, and the subject. And it will appear. You don't, won't have any students in it yet, but it will appear. There are three important things at the top that you need to know. First of all, your stream. The stream is all the things that you've assigned. You can see I have several things in my stream right now. It's the most recent things that you've assigned. Um, also, you have students, and this is what we need to be particularly um, interested in right now. So when your students have to, you have to enroll in your class, in order to, for them to enroll, you have to give them a class code. And so the class code is right here under students, and you just you can display it in front of class, and they put in the code, and they're enrolled in your class. It's as easy as that. Also, you can invite students, you can email guardians, a few other things that we'll talk about later. In the About section on the right, you can have a class calendar, which means that every time you post something, it'll be in your calendar. You can see that I don't use that calendar. I actually have a different Google Calendar that I've used through the years that I just went ahead and put in here as a link. So you can choose to use that or not. You can see also on here that I've invited a colleague to be a part of my class to see how I run it. Let's go back to my stream. I want to show you how I set it up. You look on the left here, you'll see that I have topics. I set up the topics as curriculum units. And you can see here I have 9.2. The reason why there's 9.2 is because for some reason or another, they don't have uh, Google uh, Classroom doesn't have the ability to put 10 in. And I wanted to make sure that my, my curriculum topics were in order and my units were in order of the way that I teach them. And in order to do that, you have to have numbers. So you'll see I just did a workaround so that you couldn't do 10. I did 9.1 and 9.2. But you add a topic right here. And you put in the topic and the number. After you have your topics, you can then put things inside the topics. And this is why I like it. So all the curriculum I have for Japan, for example, in my World History Unit, I have here a study guide, a test, a stop motion project, the tale of Genji assignment, and uh, some PowerPoints and graphic organizers. They're all in there for students to use. You can see on here that there are 25 students that have done this and 12 have not done this. So that would be something I can click on and check out, see who has not done it, and notify. Another important thing here, which I'm not going to get into do too much, is over here you can see that you can create assignments, create questions, create announcements, and reuse older posts. I hope this tutorial was informative. I'm going to have other tutorials that have how to create assignments and how I run the curriculum more precisely through my Google Classroom. But I have found this to be an extremely effective tool for creating an online environment for my class. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.